Let people repent. Let people grow. Believe that people can change and improve. I can't tell you the number of couples I've counseled who, when they're deeply hurt or even just deeply stressed, reach farther and farther and farther into the past. If something is buried in the past, leave it buried. Don't keep going back with your little sand pail and beach shovel to dig it up, wave it around, and then throw it at someone, saying, hey, do you remember this? Splat. That is probably going to result in some ugly morsel being dug up out of your landfill with the reply, yeah, I remember it. Do you remember this? Splat. Soon enough, everyone comes out of that exchange dirty and muddy and unhappy and hurt when what God our Father in Heaven pleads for is cleanliness and kindness and happiness and healing. When something is over and done with, when it has been repented of, as fully as it can be repented of, when life has moved on as it should, and a lot of other wonderfully good things have happened since then, it is not right to go back and open up some ancient wound which the Son of God himself died trying to heal. Let people repent. Let people grow. Believe that people can change and improve. Is that faith? Yes. Is that hope? Yes. Is it charity? Yes, above all, it is charity. The pure love of Christ.